I want to quickly talk about textures, um, texture animation. You could take uh, any blob of leftover clay, create a sort of semicircular backing, and then what I love to do is take the um, take tubes, which are basically any shape of color or if this can be any kind of color, as long as they're tubes of color, or these in this case is black and white or other kinds of color inside, and just roll it over really simply like this, and you'd be surprised the amazing energy that this kind of texture creation has when you cut it open. Um, after Putting uh, that on, I'll, I'd like to throw some some striping, like just straight colors, and it kind of helps it suck together as a as a uh, shape. Helps define it for the later, and then um, put it at different angles, again always respecting the sort of very shallow disc, basic disc shape. You can put it at 45 or in this case I'll put it at crosshatch with the original direction. And then I'll do a 45 maybe on the next one. This clay has been sitting in a gentle sunlight in a window right now, so it's kind of uh, a little bit softer than usual, which is kind of nice to work to work with. Um, I'd say it's about 75 degrees right here, and really much past 80 degrees, and it's not a good thing. Uh, so it's a really you know, much under 50 degrees, it's too it gets to be pretty hard to work with, and much over 80, it gets pretty soft. So, just like human beings, there's a very narrow temperature band in which clay likes to uh, live and operate. It would be nice to have a medium that was uh, more permanent, but being as soft and malleable as it is, it makes it it's, it's tough to find. You know how you would instantly freeze the characteristics of what you like about it and still be able to have it be this changeable under your fingers at a moment's notice. So I'm doing the crosshatch now at a diagonal. And then I'm going to add some more color banding. Um, just to change it up, I'm going to go ahead and put in a texture that isn't all that, it's not that coherent. This is leftover teeth from the uh, mouth lip sync I was doing earlier. These are shards of leftover teeth. But now I can do another 45 degree angle. This is going to include some colors now. So. Now that I'm including colors, I want to make sure that I have some symmetry, probably, with um, what's on either, either side of that color. Um, put down a one last sheet of, um, of color here. to give it some definition, you know, to, it, it kind of flows into the cracks of, the, of all the bumps, which is kind of nice. You actually want it to be in those bumps because the shape of the contours kind of help it. So, I'll throw
throw one more, one last uh, rhythm of color stripe across it. And, uh, wow, that really is getting soft in the sun. Um, here, I'll use some other pattern colors that I've got left over. And I'm making this fairly quick and crude. I would probably spend a little more time if I wasn't trying to do an example. Um, I want to keep the semi-rounded mound shape going here, so I'm going to try to contour that a little more to make sure the animation is always, if I cut this down, it'll always be spreading out from the center. Um, do one last finish of these uh, exploding shapes. And then uh, this is a kind of a general disc throw in. Maybe this will, uh, this is a way to use some more uh, pattern. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this on top. It'll allow it to uh, sort of quickly finish the same theme that's been going on inside the rest of it. And then uh, I'm going to cap it off with some other textures here. So um, this doesn't have to be too complicated, but at least it, it provides a kind of um, directional energy that is very fascinating when you cut away. And I think that the texture blocking uh, animation is always one of the most fun and free, cool, fun. I'm going to go ahead and keep it curved so this last part can be curved. So this will be how it starts at the top. I'll go ahead and box that a little bit to be just a little bit more of a rectangle so that when I um, want to leave the, I don't want to make it too fine, but at least it'll lay on the ground and the, the shapes will be somewhat coherent when I actually slice away. Okay, that's an exploding series of pattern shapes that are just lovely.